that it is by the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed for his compassion fails not he said they are new every morning great is your faithfulness father we give you the glory thank you for this weekend of revival of an outpouring of the display of your power and your grace Thank you because this is the season for the visitation of your children. Thank you for opening the heavens once again over this fellowship, over this campus. Thank you for what you will do tonight. In Jesus' name. I want to minister right now. The power of God is already here. Matthew chapter 15 verse 13 he said whatever my father in heaven has not planted shall be uprooted God is about to uproot every satanic deposit every demonic deposit everything that God did not institutionalize in your life that has become a reason for reproach for shame some of you are standing here and you are representing your families as a matter of fact some of you the reason why you gain admission into this school is so that you can be exposed to an anointing that through you your family will be delivered where they are that's why you came and tonight is that night please lift your hands i'm going to make declarations and i'm going to ask you to shout the name of jesus and when you make that shout, there will be deliverances in this place. Everything that looks like a satanic implant in the life of anyone here present will be uprooted. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you ready? It was by the shout that the walls of Jericho came down. Powers of the shrine, ancestral bondages, ancestral limitations, generational curses. All of that will be removed from your life tonight. Any spirit that followed you into this place is checking out of your life right now. Lift your hands. Father, I place an anointing on that shout. Let the angels of my ordination and my calling arise in this place. I declare, let there be deliverances. Let the yokes of the enemy be broken. Let the spell of witchcraft be arrested. Let generational causes be arrested. Let the yoke of delay be arrested. Let those yokes be broken. Let those yokes be destroyed. Let bodies be lifted. Let satanic devils be uprooted. Satanic yokes be destroyed. Everything that God has not planted be uprooted. Be uprooted now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Out of their lives, demonic spirits, witchcraft spirits, forces of hell, powers of the shrine. Be uprooted now. Be uprooted now. In the name of Jesus. That burden is being lifted now. It's being lifted. It's being lifted. It's being lifted. It's being lifted now. It's being lifted by the fire of the Holy Ghost. All across this place. From the front to the back. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. 
I declare that there is no hiding place for any spirit, any devil that is in this place. I come by the power of light. Manifest and come out of them now. 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 Out! Come out of them. Let ancestral curses be arrested. Let transgenerational yokes be arrested. Just help them. Be arrested. Be arrested. Be arrested. I set fire on that shrine now. I set fire on that shrine now. Now, just help them. For there is power in the name of Jesus. That's it. There is power in the... Let those forces be arrested now. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. Yes, be arrested, be arrested, be arrested. I bind you with chains and fetters of iron. Manifest and let them go. 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 Now. I'm still praying. I want to pray now. Listen, God showed me on Friday. God showed me a serpent while I was praying. I saw a dark serpent. And the Lord said, that's the power that has been holding a family. He said, when you go, cut that serpent. Please project Isaiah 27 verse 1 there for me. I want to pray. Can I just minister as God is leading me? This is the last night, okay? He said, in that day, the Lord with his sore and great and strong sword shall punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent, even Leviathan, that crooked serpent, and he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. That serpent represents marine spirits. Every marine spirit that is here. I've been in deliverance for a while. And one of the most wicked set of demonic spirits are marine spirits. In fact, if you are dealing with a deliverance case that is sponsored by a marine spirit, you need discernment. You need discernment. That's the spirit responsible for people having sex in their dreams. For people being fed in their dreams. That's the spirit responsible for delay. For why people who are supposed to be married are not married. That spirit is a stronghold. It can tie an entire family down, generation after generation. That is the spirit responsible for stealing the wealth and the resources of people. I don't have time. I would have shown you in scripture where the Bible says it speaks of treasures under the sea. Can I pray? Put your right hand on your chest, everybody. Now, you don't say amen. Don't say amen. Just allow me to declare. God will fish out that person, those people, that are under the oppression of that serpent and it will be destroyed right now eyes closed everywhere father i ask that your power will be released in this place i thank you for the ministry of angels that walk deliverance now in the name of jesus by the power of light and by the sword of the lord let that serpent that you showed me that is hiding in somebody's life, hiding in somebody's family. The reason for reproach, for shame, for stagnation, for delay, for oppression. Those dreams that you have, those torments that you have in your dreams again and again. I release the sword of the Lord to cut that serpent into two. As I count to seven, let that serpent be cut into two. And Father, whoever is here under the grip of that spirit, let your anointing rest upon them and let there be deliverance. 
don't say anything just allow me to pray at the count of seven let the angels of the lord move right now one two three four five let it be destroyed let it be cut into two in that day you shall punish Leviathan that crooked serpent help that lady there six that's it that's it and now seven 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 be arrested be arrested let that serpent be destroyed and I release fire for deliverance 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 Good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are good and your mercy is forever. Rebecca, 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 and I'm hearing another name, Collins, Collins, Collins. I'm about to minister healing right now. Please come quickly, uh, okay? God is doing something tonight. God is doing something tonight. If you are sick, place your hand where the sickness is. I'm about to pray for healing. Wherever the sickness is on your body, put your right hand there. If it is a blood condition or a genetic condition, just put your right hand on your chest. More like making contact with your heart. If you are standing for somebody, raise your right hand. I'm going to pray. If you are standing in for somebody that is not here, okay, this is what you'll do. Scroll to the number of the person. Alright? On your phone. Don't call them. Just scroll to the number and lift the phone up. You are going to see a kind of miracle that you have not seen. Don't call them. Don't call them. Alright? We don't need the call to connect to them. There is no distance in the realm of the spirit. And by reason of the connection of blood, as I'm praying for you, everyone in your bloodline is affected by this prayer now. Are you ready for miracles? Now, if you have eye conditions, maybe you use glasses or something. I want you to remove the glasses, put these two fingers on your eyes. Your thumb and your index finger, put it on your eyes. Any other kind of eye condition put the fingers there if you have a, an ear that cannot hear maybe an ear that is deaf or an ear that experiences problems in hearing difficulties in hearing just put your index finger on that ear if it is both ears put the two index finger here I'm about to pray XFCS you are going to see miracles in this place right now are you ready I don't have time so I'm going to pray very quickly when I say in the name of Jesus, I want you to scream Amen at the top of your voice. And God is going to do miracles and wonders right now. You deserve the glory and the honor. We lift our voice in worship as we bless your holy name. You deserve the glory. And the honor We lift our voice in worship As we bless your holy name For you are great You do miracles so great Put your hand 
here where the condition is i'm about to pray if you are standing for somebody scroll to their number don't call don't call just lace it up to god you will see a miracle that you will live to remember yes who are these here all of you are rebecca's all of you is rebecca now let me know who i'm looking for is there any of you with a son name that starts with like an a a what's that rebecca who huh huh Afo starts with A. Clap for Jesus. Step forward. I want to pray for you. Look at me. God said that the season of reproach, of shame, of stagnation has just been rolled away from your family. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Number two, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a red line on your chest, and God is saying that affliction affliction that has plagued members in the family is being arrested tonight Amen. do you hear what i'm saying yes, sir. number one god said delay shame and reproach is being rolled away Amen. number two god said affliction and now the hand of god is going to come on your life look at me there's going to be a change of story in your family Amen. are you hearing what i'm saying yes, sir. i don't know why i'm looking at you and I'm seeing like money is hanging somewhere for somebody in your family. This is like money that is owed the person that is yet to be paid and is hanging somewhere. I see documentations that have been done again and again, but the money is still being is still held somewhere. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's my late brother. Your late brother. Yes, sir. Money that belongs to him yes, has not been paid. God said in the next 21 days, Aparagadabalagas. Stretch your hands. I'm using as a point of contact. Anyone here that Satan has held financial abundance or financial resources connected to your family. In 21 days, as God is releasing it for her, God is releasing it for you. I stretch my hands, Father, by the power of your spirit. Let it be released now. In the name of Jesus, shame and reproach be rolled away from this family, affliction be rolled away, and I declare that whatever was lost is restored in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Return back to your seat rejoicing. Let's pray for the sick. Father, in the name of Jesus, I take authority against sickness. I take authority against disease. I take authority against affliction. And in the name of he that died and rose on the third day, I decree and declare, let those spirits of affliction live now. In the name of Jesus, affliction leaves your body now. It leaves your loved ones now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now those of you that have eye or ear conditions, make sure your fingers are there. Father, every blinding spirit be arrested now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every deafening spirit, let it be arrested right now. In the name of Jesus. Eyes, I command you, open. 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 In the name of Jesus. Ears, I command you, open. In the name of Jesus. Now I pray from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. In the name of Jesus, be healed. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Let me hear your amen louder. Amen. God is arresting asthmatic conditions. Wait. Now, what I just saw, I saw the hand of God coming on somebody. I will, you will hear a very loud shout. This is breathing condition, breathing, struggling with breathing and asthma. I saw the hand of God arresting that devil on somebody's life and i declare in the name of jesus we rebuke asthma now every lung condition every breathing condition we rebuke it now in the name of jesus we declare it arrested in the name of jesus christ there's somebody that have problems with your muscles and i see god healing you right now 
So every problem or condition with the muscles, we declare be healed now. We declare, we declare be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Headaches of any kind, be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's somebody with a swelling in your mouth. A swelling inside of your mouth. I don't know if it is tonsillitis or, what, or something. But I see a swelling in the mouth that is dissolving right now. In fact, as it's dissolving, the pain is going right now. In the name of Jesus. Any kind of dental condition be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Heartborn, heart palpitation, heart, all kinds of heart diseases be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to every organ that is diseased. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bone conditions be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And every other condition that I have not mentioned. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. We declare you healed. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Clap your hands and give God praise. Hallelujah. Now, this is what you do for me. Let's have five minutes to do this. Those of you that raised a contact of someone who you are standing for, rush out quickly and call the person. Find out their condition and bring us a testimony. Either they are healed completely or the healing has begun. Those of you that laid your hands on your body where there was an infirmity or sickness, check yourself by doing what you couldn't do. Check yourself very well. Those of you with eye conditions and ear condition, there's somebody on your left ear, you hear a buzzing sound. You hear a buzzing sound. God just healed you. The sound has stopped. That noise healed you. Please rush forward. Let's take the testimonies so that we can put the devil to shame in FCS today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Celebrate God once more. One more time. Now just be seated. Let's get the testimonies. If God has healed you, rush forward quickly. 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 If God has healed you, quickly. I take pleasure in worshiping you, Lord. I take pleasure in worshiping. Yes, you can celebrate God for them as they are coming. It's pleasure. In worshiping, I take pleasure in worshiping. I'm seeing something like a pipe, a pipe that is connected to somebody. You know, this pipe they use to pass urine huh? in the hospital. I see it is connected to somebody. Specifically, I'm, I'm seeing a dark man. I'm sure that that is related to somebody here. The hand of God just touched that person now. Let's get the testimony as quick as possible. In worshiping, I take pleasure. In worshiping, I take pleasure. In worshiping, you Lord. There is a young lady here that I want to pray for. Your father, it may be more than one person, but specifically a lady. Your father is like a pastor that's what i'm saying your father is like a pastor a clergy and i'm seeing your father in one of these orthodox denominations there is an affliction in his body that god is healing right now now god wants to place an anointing on this lady so the way to identify her is by this description your father is a pastor that's what i'm saying a clergy in the orthodox denomination but god just healed him now there's a particular affliction that god just healed god wants to put an anointing on that lady but this is how he will get her by this description please wherever you are run to the front let me get you yes let's hear the testimonies this is Sister Comfort. Yes. The lady, you, the person you described with a swelling in the a mouth. A swelling in your mouth. Yes. And now? As soon as you prayed, it disappeared. Disappeared. <laughs> How long? It started last night. And to swallow saliva was painful. That's tonsillitis. 
Huh? He yes. started last night yes. and she couldn't swallow. Saliva. But now it is but gone. It's painless. There's no swelling. It is gone. Father, we declare it perfected in the name of Jesus Christ. Return to your seat rejoicing. Give God praise. Yes. This is Brother Amos Adelda, sorry. He has been having headache for the past two weeks. He has been having what? Headache. Headache. Headache for two weeks. For and two weeks. Yes, sir. Wow. But at the instant of the prayer, he is now relieved. I hope you know that he must have taken pain relievers for the pain to progress. And now God just healed him in this service. Come on, give God a big hand of praise. I want to pray for you. Can I pray for you? Lift your hands. God is going to use you. God is going to use you. Father, I stretch my hands to your son. We declare that as you have healed him, you will fill him with your spirit. Let a mighty anointing rest upon him. And let every yoke that the devil has placed on your life be broken right now. May God use you for his glory. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Celebrate Jesus. Those of you that called somebody, let's hear testimonies of that. Yes. Daddy, this is Stella. She called her father as you asked to scroll to contact. Scroll to the contact. Yes, she sir. scrolled to the contact of her father. Yes, sir. Lifted it up. Yes, sir. Yes. And her father has been with a catheter for two months now. I said I saw somebody with a pipe. Yes. Catheter. And now? And a hearing aid. And a hearing aid. Yes, sir. Good. Continue. But she called him now and he said he's fine. He can hear and he can use. And you are just sitting down. Ah, hey. This can go and all I want to Is he in the hospital or at home? At home. And how about the hearing? It's my own, but now I'm okay. Okay, the hearing aid was for you. Yes. Where's the aid? Let's see. No, the one is I'm being experiencing hear sound. Okay, buzzing sound, and noise. It's telling me. On your ear. And, and now. Sound stop. Yes. God has two two healings for me. My yes. own and my father. Your own and your father. Can you give God Jesus a big hand of praise? I'm praying again in the name of Jesus. Every affliction that the enemy has planted in your life and in the life of your loved ones, before this night is over, it is de- it will depart never to return again. I didn't hear your amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Celebrate Jesus. It is perfected in Jesus' name. Sit down for a moment. Any of those testimonies that come, let's get the testimonies, okay? Isaiah chapter 4. Just one scripture and then we are done tonight. Isaiah chapter 4, verse 5. Isaiah chapter 4. I told them on Friday to write their prayer requests. Make sure your requests have been written. As soon as I finish sharing this scripture, we are going to collect the requests and pray on them. God will arise. The Bible says, let God arise. Let God arise. How many of you are ready for God to arise on your behalf this season? Isaiah chapter 4 verse 5. And the Lord will create... Okay, let's read verse 4. Verse 4. When the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion, and shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof, by the spirit of judgment, and by the spirit of burning, 
when the Lord shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning. Of course, when he says the spirit of burning, he's talking about fire. So it is important for us to understand that every time God will walk amongst his people, one of God's choicest weapons for performing a spiritual task, a spiritual work in the life of his people is the weapon of fire. Among many characteristics, fire has two major characteristics. But for the sake of tonight, three of them. First of all, fire consumes. Fire has the ability to consume almost anything that is thrown into it. Now, when the Bible speaks of the spirit of judgment, it's speaking about the consuming ability of the Lord. That anything that God has not planted in your life, anything that God has not planted in His church, a season comes where God releases the spirit of judgment in form of fire to consume and destroy. I know that God is a God of love, but the Bible also says that our God is a consuming fire. Is that true? Hebrews 12, 29. Many of us have not seen that dimension of God in a long time. Without the judgment of God being revealed, Christianity will be a mockery. Without the judgment of God revealed, Satan will hold sway in a family. Satan can prance around in a campus unless the spirit of judgment is poured out. And when we talk about the spirit of judgment, it doesn't necessarily mean that God is coming to judge against his people. No. It means that the spirit of God shows up so that anything that is not in line with the will of God is destroyed and consumed in the process. The Bible calls it the spirit of judgment. The spirit of judgment. The spirit of judgment. Remember the story of Elijah in 1 Kings chapter 1. When soldiers were sent to arrest Elijah, the prophet of God. I hope you know that they would have thrown him in a dungeon or perhaps killed him. Because the spirit of, 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 of Jezebel with Ahab has been looking for the head of Elijah. When the, when the soldiers went to Elijah at the mountain, they said, Man of God, come down. The king is sending for you. What did Elijah say? He said, If I be a man of God, let fire from heaven fall and consume you some of you may not need that fire of destruction for yourself of course you don't need it but you need that fire of destruction against every satanic implant around you one of the major reasons why people seem not to make advancement including in their spiritual life and in their work with god for instance i've had the privilege of counseling people who struggle in prayers and one of the striking things that i've heard from them is that anytime I want to pray, it's like I feel a weight on me, pressing me. Or anytime I want to pray, all of a sudden sleep comes. What that person doesn't know is that there is a demonic surveillance around their life. Satan will do everything to ensure that you don't rise up spiritually so that you can attain to your fullest potential. Satan knows what happens when an individual commits to prayers. When a fellowship commits to constant prayers. Satan knows what happens when an individual, when a campus turns to embrace the ways of God. He knows what can happen. He knows that it is danger to the kingdom of darkness. And so he, would, he, he has mechanisms set in place to ensure that people don't return to God. It is a spirit of judgment that deals with that. But then there is also the spirit of burning. That is the characteristic of fire that purifies fire does not only destroy it purifies why fire destroys other materials when you pass metal into fire it purifies that metal as a matter of fact if you study about the purification process of gold gold it is said that at the last stages of purification in fire some of the impurities that are taken out of gold are actually precious metals in themselves. One of them is silver. So for gold to be purified, it has to be taken through fire. 
so that even silver that is a precious metal in itself must be extracted from gold so that it can become pure gold so when god wants to purify a man he takes you through a season of fire a season where his fire rests upon your life to purge out anything that is not of god to purge out the dross that is in you the bible says in hebrews chapter 12 verse 1 let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset it is the fire of god that is the answer to addictions that is the answer to sins that seem to hold men bound it is the fire of god that is the answer to distractions that will not allow you attain to your fullest potential in god i'm speaking to a congregation of people here some of you are called apostles some of you are prophets some of you are supposed to walk in with god and exhibit mighty signs and wonders than even what you have seen here some of you are god, god are those that god is raising in these end times as giants for the kingdom men and women that will be at the front line of kingdom advancement beginning from this campus but it takes the spirit of burning the fire of god to purge out everything that satan has entrenched around your life that will not allow you embrace the ways of god the spirit of burning i hope you also know that fire in itself is energy it's called heat energy when you put a pot on fire what happens it has the ability to cook when that fire rests upon your life it, it it energizes you with the strength that comes from god for some of you it energizes you so that the gifts of god that is in you will come alive for some of you it, it, it empowers you for service can i tell you something in church eh no matter what you do in the house of god you need the grace of god to empower you to perform it according to the standard of the spirit the bible says be not slothful in business but be fervent in spirit serving the lord romans 12 11. it is the fire of god when it lands on your prayer life <laughs> You can stand and pray all night. You can pray for hours. By your prayers, you can withhold the attacks of the enemy against your fellowship, against your department, against your families. In your place of prayer, you can see impending doom coming against a family member. And from here, you can arrest it. You know, the Bible says, whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. It didn't say whatever we bind in heaven. No, it's on earth. So you can have a dream and see the enemy planning doom and destruction against you when you wake up from that dream don't cry laugh because the problem with the devil is that he didn't know or he has forgotten that the bible says we can arrest on earth whatever has been sentenced in the realm of the spirit what you saw is not meant to happen what you saw was the intention of the enemy you can stand in the place of prayer and arrest it there Years ago, they called me one day and told me my father was hospitalized. All my life, I've never seen him in the hospital. They said he was hospitalized. They were almost going to use oxygen. I knew what that meant because two months before that time, I lost my mother. I knew that sitting down to cry would not help me. I knew that sitting down to embrace depression would not help me. You know what I did? Whatever you bind on earth, the Bible says is bound in heaven. I shut my door for two days no sun all my curtains were down no sun i didn't see the light of the sun no food only only liquid praying in tongues morning till night except i sleep if i wake up and pray when i finished two days after that i intended it to be for three days two days at the end of the second day i took my phone put it on and I got a call. They say your dad is back home now. And he's alive till today. Now, if I had sat down to just fold my hands and cry, what would have happened? That would be the end. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 8, I believe in verse 11 thereabout. It said, because the, the sentence against an evil world is not performed speedily. It said, therefore the hands of men have been put to mischief. The reason why satan is still gaining ground around your life is because you have not arisen with a fire that satan is afraid of and tonight as we round up this weekend of revival 
God wants to place that fire on some people. Anything that is out to frustrate the move of God, out to frustrate the advancement of Christianity on this campus, it is time for the spirit of judgment to arise. I didn't hear your amen. amen. Are you ready tonight? I'm going to make an altar call. But before I make that altar call, I want to pray for a set of people here. While you are seated. While I was praying, on Friday, the Lord showed me a vision. And in that vision, I saw 21. That's the number I saw, 21. And I asked the Lord what it meant. And the Lord said that I will raise 21 watchmen amongst my people this weekend. Who is a watchman? A watchman is one that is empowered and anointed by God to stand in the place of prayer and intercession on behalf of God's people and with the authority to secure the fulfillment of the purpose of God. One of the privileges that a spiritual watchman enjoys is authority to bind or to lose things. So it's not only the fact that you are able to pray, but by your words you can issue decrees and angels will be released. God said he will raise at least 21 of them here. If I do that and we close, my assignment is over. But there are men and women that God must raise in this fellowship to stand on behalf of the leadership, to stand on behalf of the fellowship, to stand on behalf of this campus. It looks like we don't pray in Unimed again. Those days when we were still around, <laughs> we drink prayer. Oh. That's why I came, so that I can give you a little gist of the former glory. Those days, anytime you enter that ecumenical center, prayer is going on every day. In the night, the voices you will hear there. Eh? And there were things that we saw God do in our time. Men that God raised to stand. Watchmen, as a matter of fact, my being in ministry today is a reward for faithfulness of being a watchman. You know, one thing with, with the place of prayer and intercession is that when you give yourself to stand on behalf of God's people, there is a promotion that can come to you. God can look at your faithfulness there and then assign upon you more grace. I didn't go to any Bible school to be a man of God, I didn't train to be a preacher, I was an instrumentalist. But in the night, I was a watchman. By being an apostle today is a reward for that level of faithfulness. For some of you, for you to enter into the place that God has prepared for you, that's where it starts from. And I want to pray and ask God to handpick those 21 people. Close your eyes where you are seated. Jesus will give you praise. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. That you stretch forth your right hand all across this auditorium. From the front to the back, from the left to the right. At the choir stand, everybody here. You showed me that you were going to raise 21 watchmen. While they are seated, I ask that you place your right hand of power. Place your fire upon those 21 people. Let it be a grace that they cannot contain. Let the might of your spirit rest upon them. And pick them for your purpose. And use them for your glory. I'll count up to 21. If you find them, just bring them out for me. The fire of God is descending on them right now. The fire of God is descending on them right now. One. Two. Three. Four, five, yes, find them, find them, find them, Holy Spirit. Six, seven, watchmen that you have raised, let your hand and your fire rest upon them now. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, cloven tongues of fire. 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Touch! 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 That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. All across this place. By the spirit of burning, 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 by the spirit of fire. Watchmen, men and women that you have raised. Now I see the fire of God on the hands of people and I see that God is activating spiritual gifts right now every spiritual gift that is dormant in your life that is domiciled in you I come by this apostolic and prophetic grace let it be stirred up let it be stirred up by fire let it be stirred up and activated let it be stirred up and activated let it be activated let it be activated now you can't stand that fire. You can't stand that fire. Let prophetic fountains be activated. Let prophetic fountains be activated. Let the gifts of healing be activated. The workings of miracles, gifts of faith, gifts of the spirit of wisdom, discernment. Let it be activated now. 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 Holy Ghost. seven people out for me I'm seeing like a cloth resting on some people and God is showing me seven prophetic individuals in this own congregation every spiritual that's it all, the hand of God is already finding them every spiritual sense that is in your life will pop open at the count of seven Lord let that mantle rest upon them one two three Four, five, six, seven. Touch, 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 touch. Anoint those seven prophets and prophetesses with a mantle of fire, an ancient mantle. You will begin to prophesy. It shall come to pass in the last days that your young men shall prophesy. Your handmaiden, your sons and daughters, let it be activated now. Let it be activated now. Your name is the miracle. Your name is the Son of God. Your Stand on your feet. Please stand on your feet. Your name is a miracle. Your name is the Son of God. Your name is the Let the prayer request quickly, quickly.
doing all this, God is activating spiritual things. Many of you are receiving mantles. Fire is resting upon several people here. Some of you, the activations will continue to your host. While all of this is happening, please collect the prayer request quickly so we can pray. Fire is burning in the life of people here. Fire is resting on people, I tell you. Here so that I can pray. I ask for five minutes, so I want to use all the five minutes. I all the requests here so we can pray. Please stretch your hands towards me. There will be no time to do many things, but I believe that this request best communicates your desires and all that you have been believing God to do by reason of this weekend. Stretch your hands. God is going to arise for many of us here today. In the name of Jesus. When I pray in the name of Jesus, I want you to scream Amen in faith. Father, I place my hand on this request. In the name of Jesus. Let the God that answer by fire arise on behalf of his people. We speak over this request in the name of Jesus. We declare that God will arise. We speak testimonies over this request. Let reproach be rolled away. Let there be divine visitations. Let the release of the favor of God come in this request. Let angels be dispatched on behalf of this request. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you ask me to do this. I invoke the God of my covenant and the God of the spiritual lineage that I represent. And I ask that within the next 10 days, 30 days, 40 days, let there be strange manifestations. Let there be strange testimonies. Let judgment be dispatched on behalf of your children. In the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now they are going to collect the request and burn it. They will burn it completely, okay? Nobody is going to look at what you have written. But I assure you, Escos, from next fellowship, you will have a long line of testifiers from this. I know the God that I serve. Are you hearing me? I have done this again and again and again. The Lord showed me a vision of an angel with a golden pen that walks with me and he said anything you say that angel will confirm are you ready for testimonies so shall it be in the name of Jesus now I stretch my hands towards you I release the grace of God upon your life every area where you have been limited by reason of this weekend may the grace of God pick you from that limitation to a place of freedom and dominion in the name of Jesus, let the fire of God rest upon your prayer lives. Let the fire of God rest upon this fellowship. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that from today there will be strange manifestations of the power of God in this fellowship. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare in your finances you will see the favor of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let affliction be rolled away from your life forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be quickened by the power of the Holy Ghost. I declare over you that it is a new day. And a new season. Go forth and excel. Go forth and succeed. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Now while we are all standing. If you are here and you need to surrender to the Lord Jesus. You need to make the Lord Jesus your Savior and your Lord. Or you are struggling with an addiction, you want it to be broken, or you want to rededicate your life. You used to be a believer on fire for God, but right now things are cold, things are dead. Wherever you are, I want you to rush to the front at the count of five. It's Jesus that is calling you. I want you to run like there is fire where you are, and you are running away from it into safety. Let's clap for them as they come. I will count to five. I want you to run to the front quickly. One. Two. Keep clapping. They are coming. Three. Say yes to Jesus. This is a call to eternal salvation. Four. Please keep clapping. They are coming. You are struggling with an addiction. You want it to be broken. Join them. Hallelujah. Can we pray for this one? Stretch your hands towards them. Did you get the Sarah too? Yes. This is Sarah too. She Sarah was too. under the anointing by the time you were looking for her. Okay. The Lord says it's a new season for Sarah too. I stretch my hands towards you and your families. Let the doors of the Spirit be opened over this life, over this family. A new season has been activated in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Stretch your hands towards these ones. Father, thank you. Place your right hand on your chest. Those of you in front, repeat this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I repent of my sin. I believe that you died and rose again. That I will be saved. I receive you today as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name. Father, I stretch my hands towards them. I declare by the authority of your word that their sins are forgiven. We declare them born again. We put the seal of your spirit upon them. We declare that the power of sin, hell, death, and the grave is broken over their lives. That they will grow to serve you all the rest of their days on this campus and in this life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Where are they going to? Just turn to your right. Follow uh, the person waving. Wave so that they can see you. God bless you. Clap for them. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are we blessed tonight? Revival has begun again in this fellowship. You are going to see the hand of God like never before. God is going to stretch out his hand through this fellowship into this campus. There is going to be a move of God again. There is going to be an unusual intensity for prayers. Like you have never seen before. Let me say this before I sit down. There is a young man God showed me. I, don't, I will not call you out for social reasons. But I saw that you have been involved with a lady for two abortions. Two. God is showing you mercy. Make sure you repent before tonight is over. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I saw, I saw a young man, two abortions with the lady that you are involved in. Two. God told me that He's going to release the spirit of burning and judgment over this campus. He'll set men on fire. Great things will happen in his body. But there will also be judgment. There is a spirit that God will arrest on this campus. This thing they call hookup. Huh? You don't know what I'm talking about? If you have anybody that is involved in it, go and tell them tonight that the Lord said it is time to stop and surrender. Otherwise, in less than 21 days, I'm sorry to say this. If they continue, you'll start hearing deaths, strange deaths. 
I will not be around, but they, they will bring the news to me. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Number two, I want us to pray. Let's ensure we pray for this. I saw a fire outbreak. Two, I saw two fire outbreaks happen this semester. I want us to pray and resist it. I want you to take this word seriously. Don't regret when it happens. People who know me know that when I speak, I speak for God. I saw two fire outbreaks. One of it is carelessness. In fact, it looks like in the hostel. But the other one is satanic. The plan of time around is not just to destroy properties, but to destroy lives. But may God send deliverance in the name of Jesus. Wave your hands and bless the Lord for tonight.